What's up everybody? Jesse, Slot City Fishing. Uh, got a cool episode today. We're at my favorite spot to fish in the whole Gulf Coast. Today when I woke up, drove down here, it said 42 degrees uh, in my truck. It was outside air temperature and the water is very cold. So uh, and I've been hitting the beach a lot and been getting skunked. So today I decided to go fish some deep water. So I'm hoping that some big fish are gonna be held down in that deep water trying to stay warm. Uh, I'll show you my setups and hopefully we'll catch some fish. Let's do it. And I'm just doing a double drop rig. And today I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm using live shrimp. There's a little bit of leftover uh, fish bites on here from when I was fishing the beach, but that'll go away. It's not gonna affect this at all. I got a feeling that uh, there's some hungry fish down in this deep water. And then I'm using uh, Sputnik weights because if you can see, there actually is a lot of current in this water. And then with that, you gotta be careful with fast moving water. You gotta check your baits more often because the fast moving water will bury your, uh, your weights and they'll get stuck. So if my hunch is right, this ain't gonna last very long. At this spot on an outgoing tide, when the water is going through, when it gets a low volume of water like this, there's only a small area that the water can move. So for all this mass of water amount to get out, it has to go fast to get out. But it's the opposite on an incoming tide. Once the water starts coming in, the area is going to increase and the water will slow down. So I'm hoping that that will make it to where more fish will start coming through. And then that's Pensacola Pass right there. So any fish that's coming through that has to get into Perdido Bay, it has to come through this little straight right here. Here we go. Big fish. Big fish. We got a big one, boys. Yeah. It's probably a black drum. Wow. Or a shark. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, whatever it is, it's good size. I saw him on the surface a second ago. Oh. I think it's a black drum. <laughs> uh, he's right there, you see him? Right there. It's like a big red maybe. A little full red? Maybe. He's still got a fight in him. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bull red. Yeah, he's over a slot for sure. Yeah, he's big. Come on, big boy. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it is a big black drum. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a black drum. That's what I figured it was. Actually, dude, that's a red, that's a bull red. No, it's a black drum. This is where you gotta be careful, they'll get away. Uh, Wanna hold your pole? Uh yeah, yeah, you got it. 
Alright guys. Woo! Oh my gosh. That's what it's about right there, man. This is a big old black drum. Uh, let's measure him real quick. Alright, he's he's well over 30 inches. But uh, yeah, that was on a double drop rig uh, with I think live shrimp. But yeah, you can hear him drumming, man. This is a this is a beast. We got a bunch of sailors back here, man, man of the camera for me. Glad you guys are here. But uh, we'll go ahead and release him. All right, gotta revive these guys. You hear him drumming? It's loud. You don't wanna let them go too early because they'll go out there and just flip over. So we want him to kick off on his own. Come on, big fella. There he goes. Majestic beast. You. Hey, dude, thank you. Yeah, no worries. That's a piece right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's that rig that I caught that big drum on. It's just, uh, this is a double drop rig, man. Same that I fished the beach for, for Pompano. And I got these floats on it. I guarantee you these floats aren't making any dang difference right now. That black drum does not care. A uh, red drum won't either. They're bottom feeders, man. They're going to see this shrimp and just go for it. Um, but yeah, this is 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. And that fish was easily over 20 pounds, man. He was 30 inches. And then this is a four, on, four ounce Sputnik weight. Uh, these are made by the sinker guy, my buddy Chip. Uh, but yeah, man, that's it. Like that's a, a simple rig and you can go catch freaking beasts out here. So now we know that there's big black drum out here. So y'all might know black drum's favorite food is blue crab. So we're going to throw some blue crab on here. And in my experience, man, uh, drum especially black drum they really like fish bites <laughs> right in the middle Yes, on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's funny, man. I was filming the outro. This feels smaller, which could be good. There we go. Nice. I think it's another drum. Yep. That's funny. Oh, you're good, dude. You. Yeah, I think it's smaller than the other one. But still, yeah, it's a good sized fish. Yeah. Yeah, when you get them like this, dude, you just gotta let them get tired. Cause they'll pop that line. This is light line. Got him. Yeah, dude. 
Nice. Nah, man, that's on a, just a fish bite. You see that little thing? I'll show you once I uh, get this guy off the hook. It's another beast, black drum. This one was caught on the blue crab fish bites uh, with no shrimp. But yeah, this guy, he's, he's big too. Let's measure him. All right, so he's bigger than my cooler. That's 30, or uh, maybe 32, I don't know. But he's he's a beast. All right, yeah man, uh, it's pretty cold out here. It was 42 this morning. Just stuck it out, dude. Got another big black drum, so that's two, man. It's a good day today. Thank you guys for helping me out filming. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. I was, I was filming an outro about to leave, and then as I was filming it, dude, this thing went down. This fish looks very similar to the other one. I don't think it's the same one because this one's not drumming like the other one was. But yeah, man, they're out here. Uh, that was on the blue crab fish bite uh, with no shrimp. So that just goes to show you, man, that that stuff works, man. And that, that's not a gimmick. I'm not just making that up. That's it. But yeah, man, beautiful day. Look at this. Can't ask for anything better. And then you always want to let these guys swim off on their own. See how he's starting to kick? He's kind of ready. He'll let you know when he's ready. If you let him go too early, sometimes they'll, they're will they exhausted. They'll flip over upside down and they'll die. They'll drown. Let's see if he's ready. There he goes. Nice. See you later, buddy. Last time I tried to film the outro, I got a, that second big black drum, but I don't think it's gonna happen uh, this time. So this is gonna be it for today. Uh, hope, hopefully you guys learned something. Big takeaways, when it's cold, find deep water. At night, the air mixes with the surface layer of the water and cools it down, and the deep water can still be warm from the previous day's sunlight. Uh, so we were throwing some four ounce Sputnik Seekers down into some deep water with circle hooks with uh, live shrimp was the first uh, big ugly. And then the second one was on crab fish bites. And both of those fish were uh, 30 plus inches and probably over 20 pounds. They were, they were big ones. Uh, they looked like the same fish to me. They probably weren't, but they're twins. I don't know. I don't think I've ever caught the same fish twice in the same day, but they could have been the same fish. You tell me, you think it was the same one? Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, for all my subscribers out there, you may have recently seen on Facebook, uh, I now I'm stationed in uh, the Pensacola area of Florida. So back to the, the panhandle. This is my third time being stationed here and I know this area pretty well. So uh, I hope that you guys will continue to watch my stuff even though I'm not in Jackson anymore. And then all you panhandle guys look out man because I know this area pretty well. Uh, got some pretty good connections. So you can definitely look forward to some great content. Uh, beach fishing, the Pompano runs about to start. Uh, I got a video plan talking about this new surf cart that I got. And then also uh, explaining all my rigs, why I have them tied the way that I do. And still plan on doing a lot of review videos and giveaways and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.